Yeah. Welcome to the fourth edition of the Pussy Worship. May the Lord be with you. Today, I would like to promote a product that I just created to help the people who need it the most in the church after administrative fees. It's called Spread the Pussy. It's actually a spread that is intended for me, but you can spread it on other things. You can spread the pussy on a banana. You can spread the pussy on a cucumber. It looks like maybe Ms. Sister Mary already spread the pussy on half of this cucumber. Father! Well, I, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was somebody else. I know I didn't spread the pussy on the cucumber. It doesn't matter. Or you can spread the pussy directly on the tongue. The most important thing is spread the pussy. Now this week... I was contemplating the church's stance on homosexuality. And I decided to look a little, delve a little deeper into the biblical passages concerning these homosexual acts. And I came across Leviticus 18.22. You shall not lie with a male as one lies with a female. It is an abomination. Okay, uh... I don't know if there was a translation error or what happened here, but the next verse after that makes no sense at all. You shall not lie with of intercourse with an animal to be defiled with it. Uh, the human is of the animal kingdom, so we could not procreate if we did not have intercourse with another animal. So I'm thinking this whole chapter is maybe just a misinterpretation, but to be on the safe side. If you're going to perform some homosexual acts, one of you should not be lying down. Then you're safe. It just says, do not lie down with another man as with a woman. So one of you don't lie down. Now today we have a parishioner who would like to bear his or her testimony, but remain anonymous for reasons that we do not wish to disclose. So we will be using the newest technological advancements to cover the identity of this individual while she gives up her, while he or she gives up his or her confession. And let's go off to the God phone. What troubles you today, my child? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been 23 days since my last confession. I've had 273 evil thoughts about my new boss. He's lazy. He drinks all the sacramental wine. He's mean. He ogles well. Let me stop you right there. A couple of the points that you have touched on, we can just stop right there and go into these matters at hand. I would like to start with Hebrews 13, verse 17. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with grief, for this would be unprofitable to you. Now, as to another point that you made concerning the sacramental wine, it states quite clearly in Ecclesiastes 11, 7, Go then, eat your bread in happiness, and drink your wine with a cheerful heart, for God has already approved your works. Now, it is clear to me that the Lord is saying, Drink your wine and be happy. And I would suggest to you that you worry about yourself and keeping your job. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And may the Lord be with you.